634. We'll get started. Everyone have an agenda that's on the committee? Yes. Okay. So uh, the members of the committee are Deborah Panetta, who's here, Michael Serino, uh, Scott Kravitz, designee, Jeannie Meredith, standing in for Scott, Kawa, uh, and myself, Peter Manuik, and Carl Scazzarello, and myself. Um, we are starting at 6.34, and um, the first order of business is to select offices. Are there any nominations? Well, I'll make a nomination, Peter, since you uh, sponsored the committee that you be chair. Okay, then you we'll second that? I'll second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. The onerous job of being <laughs> <laughs> huh? Work for the committee. We need to keep minutes. Um, you know, I'm not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I no, 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 they don't, have right. to be, they don't have to be Debbie minutes. No. <laughs> we can use artificial I'm intelligence. Not, I'm having enough issue with minutes. Good. <laughs> Look, all you need to do is keep the attendance, what time we start, what time we stop, any motions. You don't have to put in substantive <clears throat> comments. So um, he, This is on recording, so yeah. you have him on recording. Yeah, and it's going to be recorded anyway. So, you know, the, the open meeting law just says motion. that you... you Keep uh, I can uh, keep it. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> so um, someone nominate Carla to be clerk. I will nominate Carla to be clerk. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Carla. Good Carla. Luck, Carla. It's, it's not a big deal. It really isn't. Okay. okay. So what I usually do is if you take the agenda and just create spaces in between each item and just fill in what, that might, what may have happened under okay. that. If you'd one example of what not to do, read Debbie's minutes. <laughs> wow. In Debbie's defense, Peter, she, you love. She, she a wants to be a court stenographer. You ought to be a court yeah, stenographer. You know, you're a wise guy. He, who's the one that told you and taught you that minutes should be that way? Minutes? I'm very right. particular with minutes. Okay. Right. We so want to we welcome everyone for attending this evening. We have representatives or members from Lynn. Revere, um, Slingshot is here, which is a uh, advocacy group, and uh, a member of the Board of Health, Joe Durant, thank you, uh, and town meeting member, uh, Stephanie yeah. Sholkowski and Darren Ring, Hi, and, uh, Hi, and representatives from, uh, what was the name of your group, Evan? Lynn Environmental Volunteers. Lynn Environmental Volunteers. And, and a representative. Here. Huh? And Stacy Town meeting member too, Stacy Durant. So we have three. And a representative from Chelsea as well. And, and Chelsea. So great, Maddie Franklin. Thank you very much for coming. And uh, this is recorded um, for our, our television. So the first order of business is to review the, the town meeting article that created the committee. Uh, Mike, would you uh, read Article 25? <clears throat> okay, Article 25 was to see if the Saugus Town Meeting will vote to form a National Landfill Closure Committee that will consist of two selectmen appointed by the Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, which Debbie appointed me and herself. <laughs> uh, two Town Meeting members from Precinct 10 appointed by the Town Moderator and the Town Manager or, or his designee and, and Jeannie Meredith. That job. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jeannie. Uh, the purpose of the committee is to identify time frames of final closure, post closure maintenance and monitoring, post closure economic reusable possibilities. And I spoke to Peter earlier, and that's what I want to focus on. I'm going to be doing a lot of work on uh, potential economic developments of that landfill, and that's why I didn't volunteer to take minutes. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, all appointments must be made within two weeks of adjournment of the annual uh, 2024 town meeting. And a representative win will be invited by the moderator to participate as a non voting member of the committee. And we did get a response from Wynn, and Debbie will probably read that. It, it, you did skip over the <clears throat> other related issues that may be identified. So if anything else comes up, uh, Related to the landfill, uh, we can certainly discuss that, and ultimately we'll we'll be given reports. Notice, notice there is no. Um, 
there's no uh, end date on this. So uh, we will give a report to town meeting each time town meeting convenes. And um, but this doesn't have an end time on it. So with that said, um, Debbie, could, uh, could you read the we? Uh, both yourself and myself, we reached out to WIN representatives to invite them to participate. I'm not sure that the moderator did, but we wanted to make sure that they had the opportunity, and we finally did receive a response. I sent a, an email to corporate last week, and it was right after that that you got a, a message from uh, Mary Irvin. Do you want to share that uh, publicly? I would. But and we'll enter into the record, could, too. Could I step back for a minute? Sure, of okay. course. So, uh, when I got elected chair this go around, Jack Walsh reached out to me because he wanted to meet with me and talk about wind waste. And he also reached out to our town manager. So our town manager and I met, we were supposed to be meeting with Jack Walsh, and I believe the date was March 5th. And, but when we, and we met in this conference room, but uh, Mr. Walsh was not in attendance. Mary Urban was there. They had a legal representative as well as their plant manager. So we did talk with them for about two hours about different things, including the landfill. At that time, I explained that there was an article coming before town meeting, and I thought it was a good idea for them to think about putting somebody from Wind Waste, a representative, on this landfill closure committee if it did pass town meeting. So they did have a heads up that it was coming, and I'm sure that they knew because of all of the reporting in the paper that it did pass. I believe, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, Peter, it was 44 people voted in favor, town meeting members, and one abstained. I think that was the vote, but I know that everyone voted in favor and there was one abstention. So with that said, uh, on Wednesday, I reached out to Jack Walsh, I called him, and um, we had a nice chat, but he was going to be away tonight, so he advised me to call Mary Urban. So I called Mary Urban immediately after I got off the phone, um, and she texted me back. She was getting on a plane, and, and she couldn't pick up the phone. She was going to call me back the next morning. When she didn't, I called her the next day, which was on that Friday, uh, left a very long voicemail, and um, I proceeded to send an email both to her and Jack Walsh inviting them to this meeting. And I, again, stressed that I thought it was important that there was a representative here. We all want to work collaboratively with Wind Waste. And, and I, I've said this, I don't know how many times, whether that landfill closes tomorrow, five years from now, 10 years from now, whatever it is, we need to plan. It's prudent of us as a community to plan for this closure and what we're going to do, the opportunity cost of, of keeping it an ash pile. There was discussion of when they came before the Board of Selectmen from it to go to 50 feet to 100 feet. We, I don't think that we want the highest structure in our town to be an ash landfill that's not even lined. I think that is not a good use of that land. But with that said, the response back was Thank you, Chairman Panetta. While we do appreciate the offer, we respectfully decline the invitation to participate on a committee that has been formally explicit, formed explicitly to attempt to dictate the future use of our private property. Our focus remains on finding a path forward for the most environmentally friendly option, which we believe is to continue to utilize our monofilt to safely manage the residual ash from our adjacent waste to energy facility while also providing tens of millions of dollars in economic and environmental benefit to Saugus. We will continue to send updates about the plant in addition to attending the monthly Board of Health meetings. We will also be happy to provide any further communication about our operations that you may need. Thank you, Mary Urban. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, so obviously, uh, at this time, they're not going to attend. Uh, I, I believe when the aggregate post closure committee was started, uh, were they there at the very beginning? Uh, when it, but that took a while. So I, I think aggregate, aggregate was a reluctant participate participant in the beginning, but um, over time they did participate and saw the wisdom in uh, working with the town. Hopefully, when you. Well, um, 
We are here till about seven o'clock, uh, only because the town hall needs to close at seven, correct? So uh, we'll try to keep uh, keep stick to the agenda. <coughs> so I, the first thing we have to decide is uh, should we continue in spite of their reluctance to participate? I just want to hear from the members. Should this committee, there, there are things that are specified here that they don't have to be here for, but do you feel it's important that we continue our work? A report to town meeting that Wynn doesn't want to be part of this, so therefore perhaps the committee's not a good idea. What, do you, what are your thoughts? I, I say we, we continue, Peter, because uh, the state has been after uh, Wynn to uh, you know, develop a post-closure plan, and I don't know where we are at this point. So I think we could also work with the state to see what's going on with the post-closure plan that they're required to uh, produce under state law. And, and who will monitor it after the closure period? Is it a point where I believe the original agreement said for there was a period of time, maybe 40 or 50 years, then what happens to I it think after it's, that? I think it's 30 years, and after 30 years they can walk away. Yeah, exactly. And the, and the state... So it's not private property after that. Right. The state's responsible. <laughs> yeah, right. The state's responsible for the upkeep. Yeah. Basically, the taxpayers are, yeah, right, right. including Saugus taxpayers. Debbie, what are your <clears throat> thoughts? Continue or... Well, we worked, or you worked, so hard to get this passed by town meeting, and you saw how favorably town meeting was, and they represent all of the residents here in Saugus. I think we should do our due diligence and do it as the best job we possibly can and come up with recommendations, suggestions, and continuously invite a win representative to That's come. That's a great idea. I mean... They send them agendas. Send them the agenda. We we have to remember that Wind Waste, the Liberator Resco, they stopped coming to Board of Health meetings for a very long time, and then they started to come again. So perhaps they don't want to come to these meetings to begin with. Maybe they'll change their mind and they will send a representative. I just think it's important that we work. They say they want to be a good neighbor. They say they want to work collaboratively. We give them the, them the chances to sit at the table and work with us. Yeah. And we're not saying you have to close tomorrow, but they are going to have to close. I mean, we all know that. That's a fact. So let's have the discussion. Cal? I think we should continue to meet. <clears throat> I think there's enough for us to focus on. And uh, to your point, I think keep inviting them send them an agenda. If they choose not to come, they choose not to come. But we've it's public that we've invited them to be part of the group. But I don't think we can ignore the fact that we need a plan. Jeannie? I would agree. I would echo everything that Ms. Panetta just said. I would also like to point out too, Jack Walsh was at, in, in attendance at that time meeting, so they were well aware of it. But maybe it's just too soon and maybe they think the beginning is going to be a lot of you know, back and forth, and they'd mm -hmm. like to get back involved when they see that we're working with them and not mm -hmm. against them, mm -hmm. you know, so to speak. Okay. So. Agree. So that being said, uh, how would you like to establish uh, meetings? Uh, by, uh, every every three weeks, uh, once a month, bi-weekly? What, 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 once the, a month. Once a month. Skip August. I'll start in September. Thoughts? You agree I with agree. that? That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Okay, so we'll meet, meet monthly, and the the Board of Health meets the first Monday of the month, yes. correct? Yes, so perhaps do. the second Monday of the month? That's fine. That one. Yeah. When, when do we meet for the aggregate? That's not a set no, schedule. Not so. Set. So we okay. can work around that. Second Monday of September will be the next meeting. Okay, so moving will along that, here. Will that be... Um, the uh, board of health because the first Monday is Labor Day. <coughs> what, what do you do, Joe, when it's the first when your Labor Day is the first Monday of uh, September? Would you move it to the second Monday then? That's, that's oh, what's okay. happened in the past. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have us the third Monday then. All right, so the second Monday normally, but sixteenth, first of so September. So the third so meeting would be the sixteenth of September. All right, sounds good. Um, So I think it's number four, develop appro approved correspondence to win and invite participation. Uh, I can draft a, a letter indicating what we decided here in terms of that we, we, we will continue to send them in, uh, invites along with agendas. And I'm, I'm going to keep uh, corporate. I'm not just going to correspond with, um, 
We'll, we'll send it to Mary or but I'd like to send it to Carpet. I've established an email up there to. Uh, I, I would agree because Mary is, is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mary is the PR person, mm -hmm. so she probably wouldn't be the best person to watch. I would keep reaching out to to Jack Watch or Carpet. Carpet up in New Hampshire. That's yeah, where I agree. I, I think all three. Mr. Chief, would we move the time? Could we move the time back to six? Because six thirty isn't going to give us enough time to really do much. A half so hour. You? Six so we move it to six. If, if I get here a little late, I um, I get out of work after usually at five thirty on Mondays. I can't get here by exactly at six, but I'll do the best job I can. Okay. I was just thinking because if we okay. Um, Five, determine, identify information in the public realm that would facilitate the work of the committee. Okay, Mike's already volunteered to uh, look at some of the economic reuse things, but one of the ideas I had was to let, let's find out how much, I believe it was 168 acres, but we got to firm that up through the assessor's office. Or whether, how many acres are we talking? 248. You, you believe it's 248? Yeah. I thought it was 160 for ash, but 248 is being covered the with that? Total the total. The total. Okay. Yeah. Right. So what, what would that look <clears throat> like in terms of solar uh, generation, you know? Uh, so we need to get some expertise on that. Uh, it's not, this isn't something for Dr. Gould. We need to get somebody in that can uh, talk to us. Uh, perhaps the people that developed the solar farm up at the dump or whatever. The other thing is I'd like to... Uh, go down to the, the public realm includes DEP. DEP, if you give them enough notice, you can go down and look at the files. I'd like to see any correspondence that has taken place relative to the landfill. Not, not the incinerator, we're just going to talk about the landfill. What is there that everyone should be aware of? And uh, there is a document, the closure, the closure plan from 2017, I believe. And uh, we, we should all have a copy of that, and we should go over that at, at our next meeting, what's there. That's the one that says that they are now taking out ash uh, every, every month uh, mm -hmm. and, and so forth. So we should become, we need to become familiar with everything that's related to this landfill so that as we discuss alternatives, uh, decisions, or uh, come up with ideas and suggestions, we're talking from a position of, of, of knowledge and fact and not going to have anything say, oh, you can't do that because it says it here and so forth. So um, information gathering. So identify what's out in the public realm. So, um, Mike, you're going to get going on uh, looking at economic alternatives. Um, maybe one other person can take a ride down to DEP with me and I'll, I'll schedule something. Uh, we can have a conversation about that and go down to DEP and look at the, what's in the public realm. Um, anything else? I, I just think it's important to mention that the Mass DEP has said through, through letters when they came here to August that under current regulation that they can't expand their landfill. And I don't think that they've ever recognized they when waste has ever recognized that so I don't really understand unless they're looking to change regulation and they have people up at the state house lobbyists which I don't know of anything that but it, it just seems a little odd when we hear over and over again from the mass DEP no you're done at the 50 feet why they won't even sit at the table to talk about closure they they keep Pressure, pressuring on this quote unquote host community agreement uh, that was adopted by, uh, suggested by three people as opposed to 44 people that said they didn't want to see the thing closed. But, you know, uh, Sluckman, as we know, had no authority to engage in a host community agreement. And the town manager is not going to, in my conversations with him, he's not going to engage in something that's not allowed under law. It's, it's right. not his authority to do a host community agreement. So it's really the, the Board of Health, and it's like they're trying to turn the process backwards to suit themselves. I do have a, a sense that someone at the State House at Beacon has told them, prove to us that you got support of the community, and then we'll get something in, in, either in regulation or legislation. And I, I, that's the only thing that makes sense as to why they keep pushing this. It's, every other 
communities under a different set of regulations and laws, but they want a special set of law or, or, or regulations so that they can expand it. You're right. It doesn't. It, it doesn't make sense. But fortunately, um, we uh, we the town manager has basically said he doesn't have the authority to do this, and. Um, the state is not changing at all. I, we have regular contact with our state delegation on this, uh, Jessica Giannino, and, says, and they're looking at laws. There's nothing filed or, or anything like that. So and Jeff Tricker, too. Yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah, I don't see the, the, the way for them to do this, but you know, if they know something, perhaps they should clue us in. But I think they're hoping that the public will There'll be a groundswell of support saying, give them what they want. Mr. Chair, have, have they gone back on, has DEP given a deadline or, or, or um, an end before and then changed it? There, is, there is discussion in that document of the, the closure, uh, the, the, the tra ash transport uh, letter that they sent to DEP about how long they can do it for. And I think it was 2028 or so thereabouts. Uh, Loretta, do you recall that? I believe it's 2027. 2027. It's 2027. 2027. Yeah. So, but again, we should all read that. But the, but the, so that really puts pressure on them. That Why do you think they're taking so much ash out every week now? They're taking out... 50%. Yeah, 50%. They're trying, because if they stopped using it, then, then they'd have to close it. So they don't want to close it. They're, they're nurse, nurturing it along, uh, hoping that something is political will happen. Either the town government will change again, or, or to facilitate their needs, or they'll, they'll change, they'll change the board, or put, change the manager, whatever they think they're going to do. Um, I know this: they won't give up. All right, but neither will we. So with that said, I'd like to give the opportunity to the audience uh, for citizens' comment. Uh, it's not on the agenda, but I don't see a problem with allowing uh, any members of the public that came from uh, another community to participate and say anything. Anybody want to comment? I just want to thank you all for, for being here for tonight. Your name for the record? Uh, Loretta LaCentra, we be here. Um, yeah, just thank you all. For all the efforts you, you've been making, I think it's it's long past due for us to uh, see a formal closure committee within Saugus. You certainly have the support of, of surrounding communities as well, noting the people that are here tonight. So well, we hope to support you in all your efforts and hope that um, Win Waste will come to the table. Anybody else? Okay. Burnett? Burnett. Burnett from Slingshot. I think. Can I have your last name? Dawson. Dawson. I met um, Dawson from Slingshot. I, um, I completely agree, and Slingshot is here to support in any which way possible to help move this forward. So not only have a closing date, but to have it sooner than later. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Well, with that said, um, the next meeting will be on the September 16th, and we'll go to 6. I'll, I'll make it 6.15, if you don't mind. Yeah. Let's try to help Debbie get here. And um, in the meantime, there'll be some work done. If I, I'll reach out to the members to see if one other member can go to DEP and look at the file. I'll, I'll schedule something with them and try to work around your schedule, if, if you can go with me, and uh, the two of us can... See what's there real relative to landfill and any documents that we have. So, any other thoughts? Okay, with that, uh, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. So moved at 658. Chair Sackett, all those in favor, adjournment. Say aye. 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 Okay, thank you all very much. Thank you, thank you all for coming. It's really appreciated. And thank you, Fessy TV, for being here.